So, come back again right. So, that is why this uh, your these two equations you can write in the matrix form right. So, it is 1 upon r 1 plus 1 upon r 2 and this is minus 1 upon r 2 and here it is minus 1 upon r 2, 1 upon r 2 plus 1 upon r 3 v 1 v 2 is equal to 4 6. So, these two equations can be solved right, but here it is only two uh, your what you call only two unknown. So, uh, easily you can solve right, no even no matrix operation required just you can substitute one after another and you can easily solve it, but if uh, your uh, if it is your what you call if it is more than uh, 2, 3, 4 or 5 say something it comes then you have to follow certain techniques. So, be just Kramer's rule we will discuss here and one small technique I will show you which is valid only for 3 into 3 matrix right. So, this is simultaneous equations and Kramer's rule. So, little bit uh, for circuit theory analysis as I thought little bit idea is required. So, that is why I have taken this thing the small mathematics. Right. So, consider a set of simultaneous equations having this in this form. The equation is a 1 1 x 1 right. I am just making it like this. It is a 1 1 x 1 a 1 2 x 2 up to a 1 x n is equal to say b 1. This equation 1 uh, the 1 equation. Similarly, a 2 1 x 1 a 2 2 x 2 a 2 n x n this is say b 2. Similarly, last one a n 1 x n a n 2 uh, x 2 sorry a n 1 x 1 a n 2 x 2 up to a n n x n it is say b n right. So, you have n, n number of simultaneous equations and b you write. So, this equation if, if you put this equation in the matrix form let me clean it. If you put this equation in the matrix form then we can make it like this that a 1 1 this is your this is your a matrix this is your a matrix it is a 1 1 then a 1 2 a 1 and this all these things little bit you have studied in your higher secondary right in matrix chapter and this is a matrix this is your x 1 x 2 x n right. So, a, a matrix is n into n matrix right and this is x is actually n into 1 vector and right hand side this b 1 b 2 b n it is actually b or what you call n into 1 vector right. So, this is actually given an equation 10. So, this equation it can be written as a x is equal to b or x is equal to directly solve x is equal to a inverse b of course, if a inverse exist, but anyway uh, sometimes we do not follow a inverse we follow different method to solve such linear equations right for computational efficiency. Now, this is actually your a x is equal to b. Now, a is equal to your a matrix this a 1 1 a 1 2 a 1 n a 2 1 a 2 2 a 2 n then in a term a n 1 in a throw a n 1 a n 2 a n n right. Similarly, x is equal to your x 1 x 2 up to x n and b is equal to b 1 b 2 b n. So, a is a square matrix n into n matrix where x and b are column vector that is n into 1 matrices right. So, it is actually column n 1 into we can write n 1 uh, n into 1 matrix right matrices. So, there are several methods for solving equation your this above equation a x is equal to b that is your uh, back substitution uh, Gaussian elimination matrix inversion. Kramer's rule and numerical analysis. There may be many methods for solving such a this thing, but you have to apply which will be computationally efficient. But anyway, we will not do any, we will not write any computer code or anything. So, only we have only we have to solve those things which can be solvable in the classroom as a classroom exercise. Accordingly, we will see, right. We have to see that classroom how we can quickly we can solve this one. So, Kramer's rule actually. Kramer's rule can be used to solve the simultaneous equations. According to Kramer's rule, the solution of equation 3.10 that is your a x is equal to b, right? It, uh, that is your that is your if the equation is x your uh, a x is equal to b, right? When you are solving this equation, so it can be easily solve x 1 is equal to delta 1 by delta. We will see what is delta 1 or delta x 2 is equal to delta 2 by delta and x n up to that delta n by delta. So, we have to find out delta 1, delta 2 up to delta n and then delta, delta, delta right. So, delta is a the deltas are the determinants, but we have to know some uh, procedure that how to solve it quickly right. So, in this case what we will do that uh, delta is the determinant and then the delta 1, delta 2 all delta n also determinant, but how to obtain this where the deltas are the determinant given by this delta is equal to your this determinant you find out this is a basically it is a 1 1 a 1 2 a 1 n 
a 2 1 a 2 2 a 2 n and a n 1 a n 2 a n n this is the determinant delta. Now, for delta 1 delta 2 delta 3 what you will do right uh, look uh, uh, just just you look that what you can do is for delta 1 for you have to find out x 1 x 1 is equal to say delta 1 upon delta x 2 is equal to say delta 2 by delta and x n is equal to your delta n by delta right. So, uh, how you will do it that this this is the first uh, if you take the first column first column this first column only you replace by b 1 b 2 and b n rest will remain same. So, that is whatever determinant will come that will be delta that is why b 1 b 2 b n the rest all the elements from here to here all the elements this all the elements all the elements it is same just for delta 1 you will replace that first column of this uh, of a 1 1 a 2 1 up to it replace by b 1 b 2 b n just replace it and calculate delta 1. Similarly, just let me clean it that will get delta 1. So, similarly your delta 2 in the case of delta 2 just replace your what you call the second column by uh, b 1 b 2 I mean I mean uh, the second column of this matrix this is the second column right this is the second column this is the second this is that your second column this one you replace by b 1 b 2 rest uh, for a rest all the a's element remain same only replace that then you will get the delta 2. Similarly, for the delta n the last one that last one you replace by b 1 b 2 and b n rest of the all a elements. So, will remain same you will get delta n this way delta 1 delta 2 delta 3 all can be determinants can be computed right then then uh, direct solution then you will get once uh, delta 1 delta 2 up to delta n known then x 1 is equal to delta 1 by delta x 2 is equal to your delta 2 by delta x 3 is equal to delta uh, uh, 3 by delta up to x n is equal to delta n by delta. So, this way you can easily solve it just replace one column just shifting right. So, let me clear it right. So, now question is that uh, uh, how to make it. Now, if delta is a determinant of matrix and delta k is a determinant of matrix formed by replacing the kth column of matrix A by B this I told you all these things I told you right. So, only thing is that it is evident that Kramer's rule applies only when your what you call that your delta not is equal to 0 because it will be division by 0. So, not possible. So, when delta is equal to 0 the set of equations has no unique solution because the equations are linearly dependent right. So, in that case you will find uh, the equation has no unique solution because the equations are linearly dependent. So, the value of the determinant delta can be obtained by expanding along the first row this I have underlined along the uh, expanding along the first row. So, how we will do it? So, so if it is if it is given like a uh, little bit bigger we have written that a 1 1 a 1 2 a 1 3 up to a 1 n then a 2 1 a 2 2 a a 2 3 up to a 2 n right. Similarly, a 3 1 a 3 2 a 3 3 up to a 3 n and then a n 1 a n 2 a n 3 up to a n n. Now, if you if you if you write like this that then you have to mind um, this thing say let us this first one we are writing a 1 1 m 1 1 right but basically can be obtained expanding along the first row that means along the first row we are trying to expand column wise also can be given both will see right. Uh, the, so, in that case a 1 1 m 1 1 minus a 1 2 m 1 2 plus a 1 3 m 1 3 plus dot 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 plus minus 1 to the power 1 plus n then a 1 n m 1 n right. So, where this is determined that we will see later. So, look at that this this one uh, this one this is a 1 our objective is you have to find out m 1 1 m 1 2 m 1 3 and last one is that is your m 1 n particular look at the last term minus 1 to the power 1 plus n into a 1 n into m 1 n. So, if you know the m matrix m then uh, the determinant uh, this m 1 uh, the determinant that m 1 1 m 1 to m 1 3 up to n 1 n then easily easily can be solved right. So, how to get it? So, let me clear it. So, the mat minor this is actually this is the where the minor m i j is an n minus n into n minus 1 determinant of the matrix formed by striking out the i row and the jth column right. So, later we will see that uh, you just strike it off i throw and uh, jth column for example, uh, for example, because it will be a, it will be your just one minute it will be your 
uh, it will be uh, sorry it will be your n minus 1 into n minus 1 matrix right there is a minus. Now, uh, suppose it is m i j m i j right. So, it is i throw say i is equal to 2 and j is equal to 3 that means second row and third column right. So, if you replace that rest of suppose second row i throw suppose, suppose this row this is gone say this is gone say this is not there uh, i throw and j th column uh, so that is j is equal to 3 third column. So, just uh, these two will go rest of the elements will be there right. So, accordingly it will be n minus 1 into n minus 1 matrix. So, rest of the element this one this one this one all will be there right and this will not be there completely gone, but this one this one this side will be there this will not be there. So, this rows column you have to you have to just eliminate and rest the matrix order minor will be m minus your n minus 1 into n minus 1 because one row and one column is completely eliminated right. So, let me clean it right. So, similarly your the value of delta may also be obtained by expanding along the first column. If you see that rather than rather than your rather than rows the uh, if you expand this along this first column right that also will that also you will get that your what you call the value of delta. So, just if you just let me clean it. So, if you make it if you uh, your what you call if you make uh, this one then then it will be delta is equal to a 1 1 m 1 1 minus a 2 1 m 2 1 because we are moving towards the column right. So, expanding towards the column. So, a 1 1 m 1 1 then a 2 minus a 2 1 m 2 1 plus minus plus minus plus then plus a 3 1 m 3 1 plus up to that minus 1 to the power n plus 1 a n 1 m n 1 here also when you are expanding this plus minus plus minus right and then it is coming minus 1 to the power 1 plus n 1 n m this is expanding your what you call because along the first row, but the same thing will get along the first column. So, second equation is you are along the your what you call the first column right. So, this is a 1 1 m 1 1 minus a 2 1 this thing suppose for a 2 into 2 matrix right for a 2 into 2 matrix determine is simple a 1 1 a 2 2 minus a 1 2 a 2 1 this you know. For a 3 into 3 matrix it is suppose a 1 1 a 1 2 a 1 3 look in the classroom purpose I think maximum we will solve up to 3 into 3. We will not think about 4 into 4 because uh, easily it can be solved I know, but it will be more time consuming, but we will solve only up to your what you call that 3 into 3 matrix right that way we will formulate the problem in the assignment right. So, uh, so, this this one this is a simple uh, your delta is equal to a 1 1 a 1 2 a 1 3 then a 2 1 a 2 2 a 2 3 then a 3 1 a 3 2 a 3 3. Now, if you if you expand this if you expand this you are in the in the direction of the your column a 1 1 a 2 1 a 3 1 now look it is that if you see the last formula this uh, last one that nth term nth term is your what you call it is your minus if you see the nth term it is just one or just hold on. If you see the nth term then it is your minus 1 to the power n plus 1 then a n 1 then m n 1 right. This is your now what you do is you put n is equal to 1 n is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3. If you put n is equal to if you put n is equal to 1 then it will be minus this one first term right. So, it is minus 1 square then a 1 1 then m 1 1 right. Similarly, if you put n is equal to 2 it will be minus 1 cube. So, minus term will come then minus a 2 1 m 2 1 if you put n is equal to 3 then it will be minus 1 to the power 4. So, it will be plus then a 3 1 m 3 1 right. So, uh, so let me let me clean it right. So, that is why this when we expand this it is coming like this right. Suppose a 1 1 first one then minus 1 to the power n plus 1 that is this thing your what you call then your uh, this uh, if you go to this formula m 1 m n 1 when uh, just uh, just you just you see this one for example, uh, everything will remain same that is your say m n 1 right. 
then you are writing a n 1, then minus 1 to the power say n plus 1. Now, if you look into that, that n n is equal to 1 means it is a 1 1 is there, n is equal to 1 means this is minus 1 square. So, it will be plus, then this term a 1 1 coming, then m 1 1. So, I throw and a m 1 1 means here i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 1, then i throw and j column you eliminate. Right. So, I throw means first row and first row column you eliminate. So, this is the first row and this is the first column. If you eliminate, remaining will be a 2 2, a 2 3, a 3 2, a 3 3. So, a 2 2, a 2 3, a 3 2, a 3 3. So, this is the first one. So, it is understandable to you. Right. No problem. The second one, let me clean it, I will come. Second one that, right. Second one again, it is again your say, uh, sorry, it is again your just hold on, let me let me let me clean it. Just hold on. So, in the second one, it is again the same term we are writing minus n plus 1, then a n 1, then m n 1, right. Now, in this case, second term n is equal to 2, that means it is minus 1 to the power 3, then a 2 1, then m 2 1, right. So, minus 1 to the power 3 means it is minus, right. So, this is actually minus 1 cube, so it will become minus a 2 1 is there and what is m 2 1. So, here m i j i is equal to 2 and j is equal to 1, right. That means, uh, your, your second row and the first column. So, second row means this one will go right and i is equal to 2 means uh, i throw. So, second row and j is equal to 1 the first column and this one will uh, your what you call it will go. So, what will be there? a 1 to a 1 3, a 1 to a 1 3 and a 3 to a 3 3, a 3 to a 3 3, right. So, this way minors you can easily obtain. So, I hope is I hope uh, these things is understandable to you. Right. So, let me let me your what you call clean it. Right. Similarly, last one also, last one shall I tell you or I think I think last one also you will be able to understand because n is equal to 3. So, it will be a 3 1 minus 1 4 right. So, i is equal to 3 that means third row and your first column right. So, third row and first column will be eliminated. This is the third row. So, a 1 to a 1 3 and a 1 to a 1 3 and a 2 to a 3 a 2 3 will be remaining right. So, this way you can find out. So, this is a 3 into 3 matrix. So, not will not go beyond 3 into 3 because it will take more time, but this is the methodology that how to find out. This I have expanded in the your what you call in that uh, your column side right in the decks of the column side not in the rows, but same thing row wise also you can do it you will get the same result. So, if you multiply this all these things if you simplify you know how to simplify it. So, you will get this is my delta, right. So, another thing is that this method just true for 3 into 3 matrix, remember this is a, this is a technique is there that a simple method, a simple method for obtaining the determinant of a 3 into 3 matrix is by repeating the first two rows and multiplying the terms diagonally as follows, right. It is a very, it is a very simple thing, but remember it is only true, it is only true for 3 into 3 matrix, it is only true for 3 into 3 matrix, not uh, 2 into 2, not 4 into 4, but this will be very useful for you and you will see how quickly you can obtain it, right. Uh, so, let me clean it, right. How will, what you will do it, just uh, just very, uh, very easy to understand, what you do it that this is a 1 1, uh, just hold on, this is a 1 1, a 1 2, a 1 3 a 2 1, a 2 2, a 2 3, a 3 1, a 3 2, a 3, this cross I have made it just how to do it this right. Then what you will do this first two rows you repeat further right, first two rows you repeat that is a 1 1, a 1 2, that is a 1 1, this is a 1 1, a 1 2, a 1 3 repeat and a 2 1, a 2 2, a 2 3, a 2 1, a 2 2, a, you repeat you make it like this. So, first thing is your 3 into 3 matrix, this is your 3 into 3 matrix and then what you do? You repeat the first two rows a 1 1, this is a 1 1, this is a 1 1, a 1 2, a 1 3, a 2 1, a 2 2, a 2 3, you repeat. Then 
you see how quickly you will get it. Let me clean it. Then what you do? Then your uh, then uh, what you do? That you go for your uh, multiplication and algebraic sum. Algebraic sum means this this one a 1 1 a o a 2 2 a 3 3 this is plus sign. So, a 1 1 a 2 2 a 3 3 this one whatever it comes this a 1 1 a 2 2 a 3 3 may be negative positive it does not matter, but so whatever it is you have to take plus sign then this this one this one that is all these things I have taken then plus your plus your a 2 1 then a 3 2 then a 1 3 right this is a 1 3 then plus this one plus this one this will be your plus then a 3 1 then your a uh, 1 2 then your a 2 3 this is your this is your what you call these are all plus sign I have made this is plus this is plus this is plus this side will be plus and this side this side you take minus right. So, minus means that your uh, these elements may be plus minus does not matter, but sign should be minus then minus you take the a 1 3 this is a 1 a 1 3 a 2 2 a 3 1. So, it is a 1 3 a 2 2 a 3 1 right then minus then this one your a 2 3 a 2 3 a 3 2 then a 1 1 right and then this is you get a 2 3 a 3 2 and this is a 1 1 and then minus this another one that your a 3 3 then a your what you call 1 1 1 2 a 1 2 then your a 2 1. So, all these things plus 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 all these thing minus 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 and whatever you will get that will be your determinant right. So, just just copy the first two rows and this side you take a 1 1 plus it is plus this is plus and this side you take minus and just simplify you will get the determinant. This is a true only for 3 into 3 matrix do not try for other thing it will never be, but for 3 into 3 matrix it is easy to compute rather than computing your minor and other thing straight forward you will get it. This is a simple process, simple procedure right. So, let me clean it right that is why I have make it like this and finally, finally if you the way I told whatever I wrote same thing is written here same thing is written here right. So, this is your delta same thing is written here. Next we will take the example we will solve it is a it is a basically it is a fundamental of electric engine course. So, we have to solve uh, several numericals varieties type of numericals such that your uh, you know your ideas or thoughts will be more or less our thoughts will be clear All right. So, little bit practice is necessary for such kind of thing. So, we will take different type of problem and just let me tell you one thing that uh, this uh, this whatever uh, whatever I am uh, making it it is a scan copy uh, that notes which I prepare for something right and if you have any if you find any error or any 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 higher any calculation error or anything please uh, let me know then I can rectify myself because so many problems are there there is possibly there is a possibility that there may be an error in calculation or other thing hope I do hope it is correct but um, if but uh, maybe somewhere something has gone something might have gone wrong also I do not know, but uh, I want to get feedback from you uh, right. So, if any anything anything you this thing you want right? if anything you find uh, that wrong calculation or anything then I will rectify it, uh, but varieties of problem we will try to solve I have collected problems from several places and try to put it here such so that you will have also you will have I uh, know our thoughts and other things ideas and concept we will try to clear right. So, first uh, so for take a simple example right. So, determine the or what you call the node voltage in a circuit in figure 3.3 a because chapter 3 that is why marking chapter 3 sometimes in the later stage I do, I do not, uh, but uh, let us see that you have to find out the node voltages that is uh, in the circuit. So, just just uh, uh, just this one this is your node 1 this is your node 2 right and this is your reference node or datum node and this voltage V 0 is equal to 0 right. So, this is your datum node it is it will in the new assignments or exam whatever you get this thing will not be marked, but you know that it, it is V 0 is equal to 0. So, this is my node 1 this is my node 2 that means my this voltage is V 1 this voltage V 2 with respect to this reference node this is my reference node and we have to find out 
right node volt v we have to obtain v1 is equal to how much and v2 is equal to how much v1 is equal to how much v2 is equal to how much right and two current sources are there 2.55 so details i have made it in the next diagram but uh, before that i just told you that this is the thing so so even if it is v1 v2 not marked in the circuit if you are asked that what are the node voltages right then you have to assume this is v1 and this is v2 right so let me clean it so this is the detail circuit so this is your uh, this is your uh, reference node this is your reference node right this is marked o and i told you that v0 is equal to zero this is your voltage v1 this is voltage v2 now at node 1 this is your node 1 and this is your node 2 so here you have to apply kcl and here at node 2 you have to apply kcl so if you do so if you do so look this 2.5 this is a current source 2.5 ampere independent current source this is also independent current source two current this current is entering right 2.5 ampere is entering so it is your incoming current so is equal to right is equal to that i2 i2 I and i3 these are leaving this terminal node 1 this node 1 it is leaving so it is actually is equal to i2 plus i3 right so this is this is at node 1 but when you come to node 2 node 2 then what will happen this i2 current actually is your what you call entering into this node so this current is entering into the node so this is i2 then this 5 ampere current also here this is a current source this 5 ampere current also entering into node 2 so it will be i2 plus 5 though these two are incoming current these are uh, entering into the node and is equal to your this 2 point this is a 2.5 ampere current so i have marked it here that is actually leaving the node because direction is this way it is given right is equal to 2.5 right and plus your uh, plus the right hand side this i1 this is also your i1 so these two equation this is uh, one equation i2 plus 5 is equal to 2.5 plus i1 and this side is 2.5 this is incoming current and two other i2 plus i3 hope i have not missed anything because so many such problems are there so many uh, branches are there so during um, this lecture uh, there is every possibility uh, occasionally i also may miss something so if by chance it is missed during this lecture you will also let me know that i have missed but hopefully hopefully things are okay next uh, equations right so this is how we will write the equations right i hope this is understandable too so let me clean it right so that node 1 so i wrote you that 2.5 is equal to i2 plus i3 is equal to that i2 and i3 equation we have to write so here let me again let me let me this thing uh, let me mark it so this this voltage this your what you call that i2 and i3 we have to write and i1 also so this uh, this uh, just hold on so this i2 actually if you write i2 this voltage is v1 this voltage is v2 so it is v1 minus v2 divided by a this is i2 right so this current is flowing from 1 to 2 so v1 minus v2 similarly this is your datum node o this reference voltage is 0 right so i3 is equal to writing here i3 is equal to this is v1 by 4 actually v1 minus 0 by 4 that is your v1 by 4 because this 4 ohm resistance is here right it is v1 minus v0 but v0 is 0 so v1 minus 0 by 4 so v1 by this thing for and then your i1 so i1 i am writing here that i1 is equal to yes, this is datum node reference node 0 so it is voltage here is v2 so it will basically v2 minus 0 by 12 so that means it is actually v2 by 12 this is your i1 so i2 we have got i3 we have got and i1 also we have got right so v2 by 12 so all these things we will put in those KCLs equation then we will get the equation in terms of v1 and v2 so hope uh, this is understandable so cleaning it right so that we have written i2 plus i3 we are writing here right so this is your i2 and this is your i3 whatever we have explained so after simplification we will get this equation 3 v1 minus v2 is equal to 20 similarly other thing also this equation also we wrote at the time of explanation and i2 is equal to then v1 minus v2 upon 8 and i1 is equal to v2 by 12 this also we have written right so this, let me clean it 
right. So, then upon simplification we got that your minus 3 v 1 plus 5 v 2 is equal to 60. Now, solve you what you call you solve equation 1 and equation 2, these two equation you solve you will get v 1 is equal to 13.33 volt and v 2 is equal to 20 volt right. So, this is the answer, but let me clean it one few things I can tell that you please solve it of your own here problem it is not uh, mentioned that you your you find out uh, you find out how much power is supplied by this current source and this current source. This is an exercise for you whether power how much power they are supplied right. It may uh, accordingly you will find out it may be you know uh, that is your uh, two current sources are there how much power by this one this current source and how much by this current source this is an exercise for you. Thank you very much we will be back again.